Well, welcome. This is Robert Harris with GenXComputers.com. I'm going to walk you through a step by step installation of Final Video Downloader, also known as YouTube Downloader commonly. This is going to be a step by step installing a new machine to give you a rough idea of generally how, how it would look when you install on your computer for the first time. Uh, a lot of settings I'd like to ask the fault to try and remedy the exact installation that you might run across when installing on your computer for the first time. A few things you would need is Final Video Downloader, which you'll be able to get from my website or from FinalVideoDownloader.com and Firefox, Firefox also, which uh, also you'll be able to get from my website or from um, Firefox.com. So to begin, let's go to my Mozilla Firefox open it up, which I already have to open up, and under my website, which is genxcomputer.com, you go to software apps, YouTube downloader, which will link you right to Final Video Downloader, click download, save pal, let this download, and depending on your internet connection, it's going to take a few seconds to a minute or so, just depending on your connections. Connection to be better. I got a couple of torrents going in the background, so it's going to take a bit. And with Firefox, the default download location is usually downloads, and usually you can get to there by going to start or org down here, then going to documents, and then it's downloads. But with Windows 7, it's going to be right in downloads, so you just go here. And as you can see, it's right in there already. The file FBD 2011 setup is the file. You can double click on averages, double click here, and run it. And then you're going to get a, prop, a prompt. Just click yes. Next. Always do custom installation when installing anything. So we're going to select custom. We're going to uncheck this, these things here. We're going to click next. From here, you get this next, next, do everything else, and install. Really light, really quick installation. I'm going to shut every, this down here, click finish. And if I'm moving too fast, feel free to pause the video or go over it again. So I just shut down Firefox. Final video downloader is um, installed now. Here's the icon right here on my desktop. So I'm going to move it out here to make it simple. See, double click on it. I'm going to accept the um, user agreements. And then now it's, I'm going to proceed to set it up. You can use it to um, download it to, for your iPod, PS3, PSP, or um, other formats if you plan on putting it on a DVD or things of that nature. I only use it for MP3 because that, to me, it seems it works best for this. I've tried in other formats and I've had so so luck. Me personally, I love it for music only. So I'm gonna down, I'm gonna set it to MP3 audio only with 256 kilobits. That's the highest quality that you can get next to CD quality, which is 320 kilobits. So I'm gonna select that. Then I'm gonna change the folder because it's set set it to uh, videos, and I'm gonna select my music and click OK. Then I'm going to go into settings right here and up this to 10. That's the number of concurrent downloads that you can have it set to. Then I'm going to click OK. You got extra also, which um, allows it to, um, to add a button to Internet Explorer. But that feature has been always worked quite well for me. So I'm going to click OK on there. I'm going to close that down. And when I open up Firefox now, it should be a button in there. And here, here goes the button here. So now I'm going to go to YouTube. And I'm going to create a, a shortcut just to make this easier. And I'm going to just right click on this. Select menu bar. Look marked bar. Right click again. Select add on bar. And I'm going to delete these. And separator. And just drag this here. And I'm going to edit this. You don't have to do any of these. This is just something I do to make the 
or something. So now I got a quick link to YouTube. So now I'm going to go and get a song that I like. Which, anybody know me, they like, you know I like Sade. So, what I usually or typically do is, I don't necessarily go for the song that has the, um, the video, because the video differs from the actual, from the actual, um, song. So I usually, I just go for the song that has the, um, has the words or just a picture of the album cover. And even if an advertisement comes What's up, up this girl, Ryan? Uh, that's, it's not really of a concern because even if you click the button, it's still going to download regardless of the advertisement and it will not download the advertisement and it's just that simple once you realize that that's the song that you want from that video you just click that green button and it will begin to download i'm gonna skip that ad and we're gonna listen to it real quick just to make sure that's the song we want <laughs> And that told me right then and there that, so at least from the beginning to the end, it sounded just fine. And um, so it was okay for me to download. So as you can see, it's done just that quick. Really simple, really easy, really quick. And to recap again, you don't have to sit there and listen to the um, song. You don't have to... Um, you don't have to um, play it. You can back out of there. You don't have to sit there and watch it download or anything like that. So to recap, all you do is go to um, YouTube.com, go to the video, the song you want. Once you figure out that that's the song you like, you don't have to play it or anything like that. Just click this green button up here. And final video downloader will begin downloading and convert it to MP3 format for you automatically just that simple and um, play that A minor so um, and it will automatically throw it in your my music folder because that's the folder that we um, that's the folder that we we selected there is one slight thing that I will go over with at the end of this video so here's the song we're going to play it both songs we uh, downloaded. That's the last one we did there. And here is the first one. Both songs. And if you're looking to add these to your to your iTunes folder or something like that, it's really simple. Don't make it complicated by any means just if, pull up your iTunes and have your iPod right here um, and just drag and drop it right into your iPod don't don't make things more complicated than it has to be just simply drag and drop um, and that should take care of it. just about any and everything um, as far as putting it on your um, iPod just that simple also um there is one slight thing that this program does that I don't like, and the, it's the newer version that does it, and um, I, I wanted to warn you, everyone about it. It installs a file type assistant, and I usually use Revel uninstaller to uninstall it, but you can just use add or remove on a um, program, and it's, it's just a little cheesy um, program to recognize on different file types and I just go ahead and uninstall it if I were you. And it, it, it will not up affect the, the program itself. The program will still work. But just uninstall that that um, program that attaches itself to it. So again this is Robert with GenXcomputers.com. If you like this video please um, hit the like button or feel free to subscribe. Um, 
Um, I will have more videos coming in the future. And if you have any comments or questions, please post within the video. And I myself might get to them or someone else might um, answer. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching my video.